Yesterday on the Sunday show, I talked about Sunday broadcast from 4 to 6 p.m. I talked about a comment on InfoWars on a story, again, out of Denver, where during an anti-police demonstration, anti-police brutality demonstration, a couple cops got run over. Pretty bad. Two of them are in critical condition. And the crowd began chanting, hit him again, run over him again. And we do have that video. We're going to play it later. And we said that was wrong. And people in the comments, a minority of them said, oh, now you're for the police. What's your problem? Hit him, hit him again. Students cheer when car runs into cops, critically injuring one. Now they're saying two are critically injured. And then a commenter below said, no, InfoWars sides with who's right on a case-by-case -case basis, not off of what color you are, not off of what group you are. And that's absolutely right. And I can't believe how mindless and tribal people have gotten, whether it's the cops, whether it's white people, mixed folks, black people, whatever. Humans are all humans. We act just the same. Very tribal, very dumbed down, because the cops have now been caught in Indianapolis tweeting out, I can't breathe, hashtag, basically making fun of people. Unbelievably horrible. Just like Channing, run over the cops some more. It's the same mindless tribal garbage that will end our civilization. Disgusting. By the way, now the NFL has picked up the case of the black man choked to death, and I believe it's manslaughter. The cop was allowed off. I think it's a travesty of justice. And if now the NFL wants to put on their shoes, I can't breathe. That's a lot better than making Brown their poster child because Brown was a thug. The evidence is overwhelming. And that's not the poster boy to reform the police. That is not the horse we need to bet on here. <coughs> I want to reform the police so bad it makes my head spin. The case of Eric Garner or the case of Kelly Thomas. Now, those are cases people should be looking at. But see, the media only picks up on racial incidences because it drives ratings. But that's only at the grassroots level in the media. At the higher level, it is pushed and promulgated by the talking heads of the White House and the social engineers because it's a Ford Foundation playbook to create division. Now, I'm done talking about that. I just wanted to basically get into that because that's why they dumb the propaganda down. Propaganda does not deceive people. It merely helps them to deceive themselves, Eric Hoffer. And I absolutely agree with that statement. So this broadcast is the opposite of dumbed down, talking point, stupidity. This is history integrated with research, integrated with common sense, integrated with archetypes of what really makes humans tick.